Welcome to Hello Self. It's a podcast focused on turning your cans into cans and your dreams into plans. I am your host, coach, and author, Patricia Leonard. Well, hello there and welcome to Hello Self Podcast. I am your host, Patricia Leonard. So I wanted to come to you today and share an experience that I had today and also let you know what I have coming up in January of 2024. I'm going to take a break in December of 2023 And I'm going to tell you why. I went to uh, the doctor today to talk to him about an upcoming surgery that I have at the end of November 2023. You talk about a hello self moment. (laughs) I don't care how prepared you are for life and all the events that life offers. Let me tell you, it can be blow your mind on what is happening. So anyway, I went to talk to them about the pre-op surgery, giving me some idea of what to expect with my hip replacement surgery. I'm having that because of all the sports I played when I was young and then all the coaching I did with my son. I don't know what caused it, but anyway, I'm going to have hip replacement. They took me through all this. Now, this is something you got. You have to schedule, Miss Leonard, and you need to remember this. And then when you come from the surgery, turn in to the left, the orange sign here, turn left and then turn right and go up to the first elevator floor and then go to the eighth. I'm telling you, all of a sudden, I felt so overwhelmed. I thought, I hope I make it through this surgery. Oh my goodness. So it was definitely a hello self moment. I have been so lucky in life to have good health. And then for this to come up and then all this information coming at once when some days I can't even remember what I had for breakfast at noon. So this is definitely a different kind of podcast, but I wanted to share with you, no matter what we're ready for, or we think we're ready for in life, these hello self moments can throw us off kilter. And that was what happened to me today. But you know what I did? I talked to the nurses and we laughed and we made a joke out of everything. I want to keep a good attitude about life. And they said, oh, Miss Leonard, you're going to do great because you've got the right attitude if they only knew how I felt inside. (laughs) But I wanted to let you know I am taking a break in December. And in January, I'm going to do a little bit different with my podcast. I'm going to shift from a guest interview type to a four-episode series. And that series will be focused on segments about waking up to an honoring self. It will be taken from excerpts from my book, Hello Self, which I might add is available on uh, Amazon. But it's a book that I wrote last year, and it's really about the hello self moments in our life that change the trajectory of our life. And I can tell you, this hello self moment today changed the trajectory of the rest of this year. (laughs) And I hope that's the end of it, because the only reason I agreed to do this, I told the doctor. Just get me back in my high heel shoes with this surgery and we will be good friends. (laughs) Oh, so all of you know that my um, brand is high heel shoes, especially from the book that I wrote years ago called Wearing High Heels in a Flip Flop World. So that's the only reason I agreed to have this surgery because I can't wear high heels anymore. I we laughed a little bit and then moved on. 
a little bit more about my series just to let you know or have a better understanding of how the format will change. The series is an educational, encouraging, and engaging series. And in that, I'll be sharing motivational approaches for commitment and action. Because to wake up, hello self, to begin to understand who we are and wake up to the realization of our talents and those dreams that we have on that someday shelf, it's going to take some kind of a motivational shift or a motivational direction, maybe with some suggestions from somebody like me. And I ought to be able to give those because I'll be going through them too. <laughs> So in the very first episode, it'll be called Hello Self, Awaken to the Knowing of Who You Are. So today I had an awakening, another one. <laughs> and we have these all the time. You say to yourself sometimes, I didn't know you thought like that, Patricia, or I didn't know that you didn't know this. So we have those moments that uh, something comes to us, a synchronicity or a thought or an understanding. And it may be that somebody else has helped us think through that, or it's just a moment that we've encountered that we see another part of ourselves. So I say that in my book, it's we're waking up. That is if you, <laughs> but we, if we're awake, we're seeing various aspects of ourself in our daily living. So that's the intent is to become aware. Uh, some people would call it mindfulness, but in the book, I call it awareness. And there's all kinds of things that give us awareness. Somebody might pass you and cut you off in traffic. And then you say something and you say, Patricia, I can't believe you said that. Let them go. Wish them well. <laughs> so we have those moments that good things come out of us and sometimes ugly things. But the book is written like a screenplay. So I'm just going to give you in the first episode a little bit about what Hello Self means in this movie that we'll be doing. And the movie is about you, but it'll be in frame one, frame two, frame three. You'll be creating your own movie from your awareness as you read the book. The first episode is a little bit about what the book is about. Hello Self is awakening to the knowing of who you are. And I think that's critical because most of us get in a flip-flop part of our life, a complacency part of our life, and we just need to step up in our high heels thinking to who we are. And if we're paying attention to those hello self moments, they are little signals about who you are and how you may be changing in your life and what you'd like to do now. I, I know the older I get, the more I realize that there's a lot of things I want to do yet. There's a lot of things I want to share yet. So I drag some of those wishes and goals off my someday shelf and start to do it. I'll have to share something with you now. <laughs> this is another hello self moment I had. I was going through a training session on film and television and I had an awareness and it was a documentary portion specifically. And I said, I want to do a documentary. So I told my brother, I'm going to do a documentary. He said, what's your documentary about? And is it about somebody? And I said, I don't know. I'm trying to figure this out. And he said, I got, I got somebody for you. I got the perfect person. And I said, okay, I'm all ears. Who is it? Patricia Leonard. <laughs> and I said, me? And he said, yes. So I like to share with you, to keep me on target, <laughs> that I'm going to do a documentary about the legacy of Patricia Leonard, and it's titled Hats and High Heels. And any of you who know me, 
no, that's a perfect title for my documentary. So I'll keep you posted on when that comes out too. But episode one, again, is awakening to the knowing of who you are and being honest about that because you're more than you probably think you are. Episode two is identifying messages that you want to share with the world. So if you find out who you are, what is it you want to share with somebody that says, this is something I've learned and I want to share it with the world. You may share it in a book. You may share it in a spoken word. You may share it in a song. You may share it in a speaking engagement, a TED talk. I'm not looking right now at how you share it. I want you to think about what is the message you want to give to the world from your own living. I remember when my mother was passing, I wanted her to do a tape. And I said, mom, I'll put it out there. Let's just share. What is it you want to tell the world? And she didn't want to do that. And I was very sad about that. Because I think we all in our lifetime have something that could add value to somebody else, even if it's a family member or any message just about your own living. It's not about making a number one bull, making a number one project out of it. It's simply saying, this is what I'd like to tell the world as part of my own living and experience. So we'll identify, and I'll help you begin to identify through strategic approaches that I might suggest, uh, messages that you would like to share with the world. And episode three, clarifying that message and expression format. So remember I said a book or whatever, or it might be in my high heels cabaret variety show. Because that's exactly how Hello Self and High Heels Cabaret come together. Not only will you be begin to discover who you are, but you'll begin to discover what is the message you have. And then you can express it in my High Heels Cabaret uh, variety show in some artistic form that you would like. And it may be just reading from a chapter of your book. It's not anything fancy and it's not about a big celebrity thing. It's about individual humanity sharing something that could be valuable to somebody else. And I particularly like the arts. So I think it words are great, but I like, I think that we touch the soul, the spirit, the physical self. We touch all aspects of listeners and we engage them when there's much more of a theatrical approach or mu music backup. It might be a song, but your message, and I can help you with that to determine what is the method or the format that you want to use to get your message out. You're going to be proud of yourself when we get through all of this. So I would say that you stay tuned. I'll probably have two in January and then two in February. That gives you a little bit of chance to recover from the holidays. <laughs> and, and then start thinking because that's the time to begin to engage in moving forward on some of your dreams and goals. And and if any of you, most of you know me by now, but if you don't, I'm a pusher and a shover, so you better be ready. <laughs> Episode four is performing the message on a high heels cabaret variety show. So not only is three clarifying the message and planning the format, but then it's actually producing that and doing it on a high heels cabaret format. Now that's a big step, but I think we can talk about who we are. We say, oh yeah, I know who I am. Yeah, oh please. And, but we don't know 
until we're actually put in front of something and somebody and to say, what is it I really want to say? What is it? But anyway, this is demonstrating something that you've made a commitment to about your life. Hello Self is waking up to what is your purpose? What is your passion? What is your message? Most of us could not even answer those questions, but in this series, you will. And I won't use the typical tell me who you are thing. It might be an assessment that says you are a shoe. Don't tell me what kind of shoe are you? Where does your shoe go every day? Who does your shoe hang around with? So any of you that know me, it will be an unconventional <laughs> assessment for you to go through to help discover who you are. But we'll have some fun. And that's the whole thing is making uh, whatever you're doing fun and helping others. Remember, this is educational, encouraging. And not only do you encourage others, but you'll encourage yourself. <laughs> Just like today, I'm trying to encourage myself to get ready for this surgery I've got coming up. And the only encouragement that I can think of right now is that I can get back in my high heel shoes. And I'm going to celebrate as soon as that happens. I'll probably even do a podcast about it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I hope you know that I like to have fun, but I'm a little crazy, too. The series will offer insights about Hello Self from my book. As I said, there are several insights that I address in the very front of the book before we go into the chapter, which are not chapters, but frames about the content. So Hello Self is about awakening to who you are and High Heels Cabaret is a platform for expressing that awareness. So that's what my Hello Self series is going to be about. And we're going to do four episodes to help you walk through each of those episodes for your own self. And um, then we'll audition for performing on my High Heels Cabaret. So it may be we may go online or we may do some of those cabaret shows in person. So we'll figure that out when we come to that portion uh, of how you want to do it. If you're not here in Nashville, Tennessee, then what we may do is put a cabaret together that's on Zoom and then produce that as a podcast for others to see or as a variety show for others to see. So we'll figure that out as we get to it, just how we're going to do it. So this does not exclude you because you're not in Nashville, Tennessee. So remember, we're going to have fun with this. And I, I just bet once you get to knowing who you are, you're going to have a higher understanding of what you have to offer. I just worked with a couple of young people in the past two or three weeks. And one of the things that the young man said to me, it was a young man and a young woman, and the young man said to me, Miss Leonard, you motivated me so much. And he was interviewing. And you motivated me so much that I was going to start for a lower salary because I didn't really know my value. This can help you in interviewing for positions. It can help you in pitching something that you believe in. But we have to start first. It always, always begins with us because how we feel about ourselves and how we see ourselves is what we show to the world. And so you want to show your best self. And I want you to show your best self because that is my intent, is to help you have a better quality of life and enjoy that better quality of life. So I think that this is really all I wanted to share today is to let you know 
I'm taking a break in December, but we're going to start out the new year with a, a four episode series that is focused for you, not someone else's story, which is what I've been doing is sharing. And I like that because I believe in every story, there are many gifts and lots of glories, including your story. So when you start to appreciate and respect your own story, then you'll see yourself in a different light. And when you see yourself in a different light, you walk different. Maybe you'll even put on a pair of high heels or wingtip shoes. <laughs> oh, I don't care if you wear sandals. I don't care what you wear. Just know who you are because that's the key to maximizing your life experience this lifetime. So I think that is about it. I hope that this gets you excited about starting 2024 for you and that we get to go down this path together. I'm excited to get to know each of you who decide to be part of this and tell me a little bit about yourself. So we'll talk about that in each of the episodes, but have a great Thanksgiving, a great Christmas, a great New Year's, and I will be publishing one or two more podcast in the month of November, but then I'm going to take a break in December. So I'll see you in January and we will celebrate the new year with this series called Hello Self. And I'm so excited. So like I always say, keep dreaming. Remember, that's what where everything comes from is your dreams can become your reality in life. And again, this is Hello Self Podcast, and I'm your host, Patricia Leonard. Thank you for joining Hello Self today, and may it offer insight and inspire you to stay on your runway to success. Like, share, and subscribe. And remember this, keep dreaming.